Hi everyone, my name is Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In 2019, I made the decision to commit to a longtime goal of mine to through hike the Pacific Crest Trail. I got the gear, I got the permits, I got everything I needed to hit the trail in spring of 2020. And then, well, you know what happened. So it's been a little bit of a roller coaster since then. I had plans of getting out on the trail this summer, but got hit with some unexpected and totally crazy health things. So today's video is just an update telling you all the things that I've experienced with my health and officially announcing my plans for when I'll actually get out and through hike the PCT. Let's jump in. Okay, so before we jump into our sit down chat, I just need to acknowledge something that I feel like comes up almost every single time I film a sit down chat here on my couch area. And that is this spam can in the background. Uh, over to the side, we live in a really small one bedroom apartment. So my husband's desk is in our living room, kitchen, dining, all one small one space. <laughs> I'm sure some of you can relate. Um, but this spam can is not actually a spam cam. It's one of those like secret compartment boxes and he, uh, he got it as a gift. But I just thought I would answer that burning question right here from the beginning because I swear every single time <laughs> I get comments about that spam cam. So now that that burning question has been answered, let's jump in to today's video. Okay, so as we jump in, I just wanna acknowledge that I, like obviously as the title suggests, we'll be covering a couple different topics surrounding the greater topic of like my health and the PCT and uh, my new plans for it. So with that, I know that many of you are coming to this video with wanting to know just one or two answers to certain questions. So if you are not here to just hear my whole story and to hear you know, everything that got me here and where I'm going, I'm gonna put timestamps down in the description below of all the major topics that I cover in this video so that you can totally jump around if you came to this video for a specific <laughs> reason, wanting to know a specific part of my story. Um, so yeah, just know that that is down there. Okay, so I feel like there's a couple different pieces to this story and a couple different ways I could approach it. Um, and they're all kind of important in the theme of this video, but I'm just gonna try to do my best and start at the beginning and get us where we need to go. So basically my dream of wanting to hike the PCT started when I was 20 years old. That was the first time I had ever heard of it. And it, I immediately knew it was something I needed to do in my life. It was like, I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but it was like something in my core where I heard it and I was like, yeah, that's something that's something that I'm gonna do for sure. And I've heard of a lot of really cool, interesting, amazing things and thought like, oh, that's amazing, but never been like, I have to do it. And the PCT was different. It was something like I felt like I had to do. And so I decided it was something I wanted to do before I was 30, but I actually had intentions of doing it sooner than that if possible. But that was what I said. And, you know, I was 20 years old. I said, I'm going to hike the PCT before I'm 30. So in those next couple of years, I started to like get myself some ultralight camping gear and, um, just kind of do what I can to like start to get myself ready. But I was in no way of a position to be able to pull off taking like five or six months off from work. I was working like a million jobs, <laughs> not a million, but literally I was working like three or four jobs at the time, just trying to get everything together. So I, that's where I was. I was kind of in this preparatory, getting myself ready stage. And then my dad passed away and my world was totally shaken up. And, um, I don't, it's not that the plans got backburnered, they just were no longer in the forefront of my mind. And in that whole whirlwind of experience, I ended up moving back to Colorado. And when I moved back to Colorado is when I really started to have some health issues. So these health issues were on a level where I was like, there's no way that I could spend, you know, four to six months living out of a backpack. Um, it was random things. Like I had started to have really bad cystic hormonal acne. And so I'm like, mid 20s, you know, 24, 25 years old. Uh, never had acne growing up, but had really, really bad, started to get really, really bad acne and really bad like inflammation and joint pain. Like I basically couldn't hike more than like four or five miles without my hips just feeling like they were being 
I don't even know, like almost like there was like sawing or grinding happening in there. And I kept, I, I remember specifically being on a hike with one of my girlfriends and saying to myself, like, I don't think I could hike the PCT if I wanted to. Like, I don't think my body's in a position to be able to do that. So I worked really hard. I tried many different routes to find my way to health because I knew as, you know, someone in their mid twenties, I should feel amazing. I should feel vibrant. I shouldn't have like joint pain and crazy acne and all these things. So I started, you know, down this path of holistic wellness um, because the dead end that I had reached at Western Medicine was starting to get really, really frustrating for me. So I worked with naturopath and eventually, you know, that didn't work, unfortunately. I don't wanna like discourage any of you who are on this journey, but I had to definitely try, open quite a few doors before I found the door that worked for me. And then I found someone in the holistic nutrition realm who finally was able to give me some answers. She ran some blood work and some hormone tests for me. And it turned out that I had Hashimoto's um, hypothyroidism. And then I also had some really, really low like reproductive hormones. Um, so that next year I just went into like hyperdrive mode with everything that she recommended. And my health transformed, like my skin completely cleared up. Like I don't have any makeup on right now. Uh, well, I guess mascara, but no face makeup or anything. And uh, my energy levels were better. I started to be able to like hike and do long distances. I don't have any, didn't have any more pain and inflammation. So I just kind of made the assumption that my health was in a good place, that I was good enough to hike the PCT um, or to take on an endeavor like that. And when, um, when, <laughs> when I realized, or I think it was more my husband helped me realize that if I didn't hike, you know, if I wanted to hike it by the time I was 30, like 2021 with 2020, excuse me, was the year I would be 29 years old. So I committed, you know, it worked well in our, you know, it was a time in our life where it'd work, work well and we can make it happen. And so I, um, when I say we, it's like, I, my husband is not really interested in hiking the PCT. He's amazing. He wants to support me. He's like the best, but it is still something that I'm just, I'm just doing for me. Um, but when you're in a partnership, it's something that, you know, you have to discuss and decide like how, how are you going to make sure that you are both being able to follow your dreams. And so I feel really, really grateful that I have a partner that is super supportive for me and my dreams. And so yeah, full throttle decided I was going to hike and, um, had to rebuy all my outdoor gear <laughs> because in like six or seven years, like ultra light has changed quite a bit. Um, started getting ready with my food and got my start date of April 30th. So I had like literally everything in place to start hiking. And then around mid March is when everything started shutting down around here. And I kept saying to myself like, oh, we have six weeks. Like I'm, I'm not giving up hope. I'm not giving up hope. Five weeks, I'm not giving up hope. And then we went into like full on lockdown for at least a month. And that's when I realized that, okay, this lockdown is gonna go past my start date and realistically it's not gonna happen. So my original intention was just to hike again in 2021, um, the PCT. And so I was like, I'm gonna keep getting, keep myself in the mood and in the groove. And I feel so fortunate for such amazing friends. Actually, what's crazy is I barely knew her at first. We were just Instagram friends. But if you have joined me for my Tahoe Rim Trail series, um, if not, there's a whole series on the Tahoe Rim Trail. Um, then you will have met Chrissy and early, like maybe mid June uh, or late June, Chrissy called me and asked if I wanted to hike the Tahoe Rim Trail with her. And I thought that was like a perfect way to keep myself on track for my PCT goals and such a great way to do like my first through hike, test out my gear. And in a lot of ways, I actually am really grateful that I got to hike the Tahoe Rim Trail before I did the PCT because I learned a lot. <laughs> I learned a lot about how I eat and I learned a lot about how through hiking really is different than a normal backpacking trip. We did the 180 miles in about eight and a half days. So we're averaging about 20 miles a day. So after the TRT, I just try to keep up with activities and lifestyle choices that would really help me just stay on track for hiking the Tahoe Rim Trail. So I did some like of my biggest like day trip adventures, you know, like I think I, I shared it on here. I did like a 27 mile loop in one day, which was super, 
fun and painful and fun, <laughs> type two fun. Um, and then over the winter, I plan to train for a schemo race to just keep my fitness levels up. I'm not like particularly good or fast because I'm actually more of a snowboarder, but it's been fun to just like try a new sport and have a reason to like get out and hike up mountains in the winter. So anyways, that was what I was doing and everything was rolling well, smoothly. And then uh, at the end of December, right after my 30th birthday, I just got completely crushed with some freak health stuff. I ended up with this vertigo spell. I know I shared about it in a couple of videos uh, ago, but in case you missed it, basically I woke up uh, at like three in the morning and my world was tilted and spinning. And I couldn't get out of bed for, I couldn't even open my eyes for a couple of days. I was like crawling on my stomach to the bathroom. Um, and then like every time that I'd even move my head at all, I would puke. It was a really horrible experience and it lasted quite a while. Um, they think it was from some sort of like inner ear infection, which is so, so crazy. Cause I know some of you who had vertigo are gonna comment and tell me that I could have done the Epley maneuver. Believe me, all the things, <laughs> all the things we tried. It was, it was not, it was basically the type of vertigo I had. The, I ended up seeing a vertigo specialist, like a physical therapist, and it was definitely from some sort of infection um, in the inner ear. But anyways, that's beside the point. I like literally could not get out of bed for two whole weeks. And then the next two weeks after that, I, it was so limited what I could do. I could like barely walk around. And so that's, that's the state I was in <laughs> with my health when they released the next round of this, the 2021 round of permits for the PCT. And it just didn't feel like I was in a good space to make that decision and that commitment. Um, so I made the hard decision to wait, to wait a little bit longer. And, uh, and it's, you know, I think it's a good thing that I did. I think that I'm feeling so much better now. It took about two and a half months for me to be, you know, more or less back to normal. But I, um, I do feel like if you know you're gonna go set out on an endeavor like the PCT, you wanna be in as best physical health as you possibly can, especially like deep health, because hiking for five, you know, somewhere between four and six months and eating mostly packaged food and, you know, like putting so much strain and pressure on your body, like that is hard enough on your body to begin with. And so if you're not like in a place of you know, vitality, that's, that's going to be really, really rough. And, you know, maybe everybody's different, but that feels really important to me. P.S. I'm sorry about the construction. There's nothing I can do about it, but I am sorry. <laughs> so anyways, um, that kind of brings me up to where I am now. So this year, my whole like goal and vision is to really just get to a place where I am in like the, the most vital <laughs> I've ever been. So I'm really doing a lot of things to work with my own nutrition, to work with my rest and recovery, and then also really working on just like my fitness levels and things like that. And just enjoying life a little bit, enjoying rock climbing, enjoying biking, and enjoying some of these things that I won't be able to do um, for the whole summer that I'm on the PCT. But with that being said, if everything goes well and I continue down this path towards better health and feeling like the best version of myself, the plan is to hike the PCT next year. So summer of 2022, I will be 31 years old, but that is okay because, you know, I know that we put these markers on things. Well, I'm more, I think I more put this marker of hike the PCT before I'm 30, not because I think that above 30 is like old or you like can't do those sort of things, but just kind of as a, as a reminder to not let my dreams slide away from me. And I think that I've had to really relax around that a little bit and um, find a way to keep my goals in sight and know that this is something that I wholeheartedly wanna do and I'm so excited about, but also like, Life lifes, <laughs> it throws us curveballs. I mean, I don't know if, you know, like even in my story, I'm sure you've heard quite a few different curveballs that completely changed the trajectory of my life and my life plans from there. And so, you know, <laughs> as much as we wanna be in control of all the factors of our life, there are a lot of things that are out of our control. So 
I will say this announcement of my 2022 PCT hike with somewhat of a grain of salt because I just never really know what's gonna happen. But at this space in time, I feel really confident and really, really, really excited for the chance to finally get out there and to chase these dreams that I have been looking after for quite a long time. So if you've made it to this part of the video, I just wanna say thank you for sticking around. I know that many of you actually really enjoy these sit down chats, but I also know that many of you are more here for like the adventure and the vlogs and the recipes and things like that. So just know that more vlogs are coming. And in fact, if you have a, a type of video that you really like um, from my channel, please feel free to write it down in the comments below. And also if you have any questions about any of the things that I shared with my health journey um, or anything like that, please feel free to use the comments below. I'm happy, I'm totally an open book. I'm happy to share any of my experiences. And if need be, I can make like a follow-up video explaining some things if there is enough questions. But other than that, um, just wanted to make that announcement and just share a little bit of my story with you. And for now, my plan for the rest of the year, again, is just to really focus on deep health and stay strong and just enjoy my time. I'm still working on school. I'll have to take a leave of absence from school to hike the PCT, but I uh, made sure that that was a possibility when I registered. And I think that's all I have for you today. So as always, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stick around for all of the adventures, um, including the PCT adventure, but everything that happens from now until then as well. So with that, I will uh, see you next week.